Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to this video. Before we make a start on it, I just want to make a quick announcement. I've been lucky enough to be selected to play for the third time in the Eve Merton Dreams Trust Charity Legends football game at the Eco Power Stadium. The event sponsored by the Eco Power Group on the 7th of May 2022 at the Eco Power Stadium. Tickets are available. Contact me on my socials if you want any. Donations will be greatly appreciated. Link to the donation pages in the description down below. And also a big thank you to CK Decorators for a personal sponsor for me. Great decorators. If you need any decorating work done, please get in touch with them. Links to their socials are in the description down below. It's going to be a good game. Get yourself down there. But for now, let's get on with this video. Hi guys, welcome to this match day vlog and it's been billed as the El Crapico. It's bottom of the League One table against second bottom of the League One table, Doncaster versus Crew, and it's gonna be a League Two fixture this next season. No two ways about that. Rovers have got to win all of their remaining games and hope that the teams above us lose all of theirs. We've not won back to back all season, so likelihood is that is not gonna happen. So League Two football is heading Doncaster's way next season, which is frustrating but the writing's been on the wall for some time to be fair uh, so let's watch this game and see what we've got in store for next season um, for me I just want to see 100% effort today um, and hopefully not finish rock bottom of the league one table come the end of the season so that has got to be the team talk today um, win this game and you're going to avoid the wooden spoon but that's the team talk for both teams so it's it's either got board draw or an absolute thriller written all over it. So let's get down to the ground, see what the confirmed team lineup is, talk to some fans, get some fans' thoughts, and watch this absolute wonderful game of football. Confirmed team lineups are in. It's Jonathan Mitchell in goal, the back four of Noel Alowu, Williams, and Tommy Rowe. In the midfield, it's Adam Clayton, Matt Smith, John Bostock, Aidan Barlow, and Josh Martin with Rio Griffiths up front on his own. And subs. Jones, Younger, Dodu, Galbraith, Gardner, Horton, Odubeko. Hopefully that is a first team and a subs base that can get us a much needed win so that we avoid bottom of the table. Let's go and hear what the family thought before we go to fans' thoughts. So we're in the ground, Anthony's here. Massive game, mate. Are you expecting a wonderful game of football? Oh yeah, amazing. Quick score prediction. Nil, nil, no shots on target. Hi guys, welcome to Fan Sports. I've got a couple of crew fans that have been kind enough to, to jump on the channel. Thank you very much. I hope you've had a safe journey down. I hope you have a safe journey back home as well. Um, 
not much to shout about for both of us this season really it's been a very poor league one season um, first question David Artel he's a bit of an hero in your parts is he given the opportunity to, to go again next season or do you think his time is done it's got to go got to go got to go it's got, got to refresh top to bottom really yeah it's going to be a lot lot of players going out so so it's looking yeah. like a big, a big overall big, in the big summer. Player out, yeah. yeah, I think the same to be said for, for us guys. I mean, I'm, I'd like to see McSheffrey given an opportunity, but there's a lot of the fan base want, want to clear out, similar to yourself. Um, so my match preview, I went with Tom Lowry as the one to watch. He's a couple of assists, a couple of goals. Um, it's a bit like us, really. Just really struggled to kind of find any sort of form throughout the team. Do you think I'm about right there or should there be yeah. somebody else? Tommy Lowry, playmaker, just stop him. There's nothing coming through. Yeah. Um, Chris Long's probably our only goal threat. He's getting the ball up to him. Yeah. So, so yeah. Take, take Larry out and yeah, we'll worry about yeah. that. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. And then finally, so I'll let you get off after this one. I've gone with a 1 1 draw. Um, it's, it's avoiding the wooden spoon for both of us, isn't it? I think whoever wins this could go on to, to not finish bottom. Um, we'll, we'll start here. What, what are you going for? 2 1 to crew. 2 1 to crew, there we go. 2 2. 2-2 two, two. and finally 2-1 two, to Doncaster 2-1 wow so it's a bit of a mix of results thank you very much <laughs> I hope you have a good day take care it's, it's a different <laughs>
good save, good block by, by the defence, um, and then falls to Josh Martin, who takes his time, takes a touch, and finds the corner of the goal. Rovers 2, crew nil. Feels a little bit a little bit empty celebrating the goals because I think we we know that we're down, but it's just frustrating that this energy and this desire wasn't there previous in previous games where we've had opportunities to get ourselves out of this mess. Maybe they're playing with the pressure off because they know that hey, oh, keeper's got his shorts off, my mum. My mum's happy. <laughs> Not sure why he's got his shorts off. Wow, there we go. That's where we're at. <laughs> but Rovers 2, crew nil. I think the pressure's off, which is why we're playing with a little bit more freedom. Frustrating that we've not played with this freedom and this desire last month. We've won a game, mate. I know, it's wow. amazing. Feels very, very nice. Um, Rovers 2, crew nil. Performance wise, not too bad, but it's, it's one of those that I'm not wanting to look too much into because it is two very poor teams in League One. Um, but I think if we'd have played like that against some of the some of the teams where we've narrowly got beat or or just not turned up against, yeah. we'd be in a much better position. Um, you've been to a fair few games this season, mate. Performance wise, I, I don't yeah. I don't want to sound like I'm being biased towards Rovers and saying that it was a good performance, but. I think it was alright. It weren't great. I mean, crew were really unnervy at the back. Yeah. Uh, the goalkeeper just didn't want to kick it out, and they were two of us in their own quarter for quite a long time. And uh, I just think Donny scuffed so many chances, got running yeah. down the wing, and then doing nothing with it. So yeah. But I think tough, tough one to judge. Yeah. Two, two poor teams. I think we were just the better of the poor teams. For a change. Um, yeah. But. I think had we played a little bit of football in previous games, we would be in a better position than what we what we are now. But maybe that little bit of freedom, uh, pressures off. Yeah, big change in midfield with uh, with Clayton and Bostock in there. I think they controlled it really well, and that's where we've looked poor all season. So a good result. I think that sends crew down. So if you're crew fan watching, apologies. I feel you. We'll be joining you in the next week or two. In the, I have no doubt about that. Um, so it, I think this will be a League 2 fixture next year hopefully both teams bounce back uh, but credit crew fans didn't stop singing um, and supporting your team even through a tough period so hopefully the teams hopefully the two teams bounce back but yeah happy with two goals after not seeing a goal for a month over a month um, and happy we're getting three points and potentially not finishing bottom of the table I think that's where we've got to try and be um, come the end of the season just try and avoid finishing bottom of the pile so a 2-0 win fairly happy a weekend not ruined for once and that's where I'm going to leave this one uh, don't forget to join us tomorrow uh, the League One review show is back from 6 o'clock if you've enjoyed this please stick a big thumbs up on it for us please comments in the section down below subscribe if you haven't already as always thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one